and welcome back to another edition of Fanboy 76's A Sweater and a Movie. And today, we are wearing one of my uh, favorite brand of sweaters. This is last year's Baseballism Christmas sweater. Uh, it's pretty neat because it basically is a tree, and it comes with pin-on ornaments that you can put in any arrangement that you want to. Uh, but some of them are based on some of their previous baseball designs. For example... You've got the frozen by the curve look, and you've got Santa swinging a bat. And some of them are designs that I wish they would come up with, like the Christmas tree bullpen car. So, dear baseballism, I would definitely buy a full sweater of this look. Uh, I do have this year's sweater, and that will be re be previewed, revealed, whatever, later on in our run up to Christmas. Now, speaking of the countdown to Christmas or our run-up to Christmas, I guess countdown to Christmas is probably copyrighted, copywritten by the Hallmark people. Please don't sue us. We don't really make any money on, well, any of these shows so far. But one of the things that has become an annual watch for Jessica and I is the 2019 movie Noel from Disney+. Plus. And first, the cast. It's fantastic. It stars Anna Kendrick, who I think was in many ways, designed to be in Christmas movies. Uh, there's something about just her natural energy that comes across the screen that I think makes her perfect for the genre, so I hope she does more. But you also have just a great supporting cast. I mean, Shirley MacLaine's in the movie. Uh, I absolutely love Bill Hader in the movie as the son destined to be Santa Claus. You have Billy Eichner, who's always funny. And in this movie, um, he's funnier in a lot of ways because he's more restrained than normal. Uh, they brought Julie Haggerty back from Airplane fame as Mrs. Claus looking to keep the Santa Claus legend going. And while his name escapes me, Alex P. Keaton's dad is in the movie. Now, it features a uh, situation in which Noel, the future Santa Claus's sister who's really the most Christmassy person ever, has accidentally encouraged her brother to leave the North Pole to basically not be Santa Claus and, in fact, go teach yoga in Arizona. And so, of course, you can imagine where the movie goes from there. But it is a delightful movie. Um, Family-friendly, but not in a super, like, obnoxious way. And what I mean by that is it's family-friendly, but it isn't a juvenile story. Um, there used to be a time when I was a kid when kids' movies could actually be complicated and kids' movies could actually have a certain um, – like it challenged the audience. Like you would watch The Goonies uh, and that would not be considered a kids' movie today, right? That That's a PG-13 movie waiting to happen. But as my generation, that's what we got. And then at some point, the generation instead got Spy Kids. So – this is a family-friendly movie more in that tradition where there's still a lot of themes for adults to love. Uh, but there's also so much heart that is naturally infused in the movie. And this, the, the sequence, I won't give too much away though, is when Noel uh, encounters a girl who can't hear. And if you're not choke-sobbing by the end of that scene, well, I don't know why you're watching Christmas movies in the first place. So again, Noel, Disney+, Plus. that's our recommendation for today. Uh, and our other recommendation is to keep following, subscribing, liking us. Hopefully, uh, you're digging what we're doing. Hopefully, we're adding a little bit of Christmas spirit. Uh, and unfortunately, I realized that I'm not going to get through all of my sweaters before Christmas. And this is actually causing me a great deal of anxiety. 